Hello, my peepers. It's Shaleen the Color and Book Nook. It is Friday, February 19th. It is 7.37 a.m. What's going on today? So, I didn't have any finishes or anything to write in for yesterday except for national. So, let's see what national it was the 19th Ooh, look at all of them so <laughs> we're going with the 18th oh today has a lot so yesterday was either national battery day national crab stuffed flounder day or national drink wine day Ooh, let's go with National Drink Wine Day. I thought every day was National Drink Wine Day. <laughs> okay, so why am I putting this away? I need it. Weather. Right now I can tell you. It is snowing. It's it's coming down really hard. Lots of big flakes. And it says a high of 29 today. I'm going to put that here. With snow showers. So it says light snow through early afternoon, then snow showers likely late. Addition accumulation around an inch. West winds. Chance of snow near 100%. Tonight, lake effect snow showers likely. Additional accumulation 1 to 2 inches. West winds. Chance of snow 70%. Hmm. So let's see what the radar is. <coughs> Look at that. We are getting snow for sure. Snow, 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 snow until about 930. And then we don't see it again. And then my radar stops at 1 o'clock. So we have it for a couple more hours. Yep. Okay, snow. And I know it is snowing out there. The road has a light dusting on it. Nothing to worry about. Oh, let's do this green one. Mowed grass, is it? Mowed lawn. I always seem to get the hic hiccups when I do videos. <laughs> And I just got up. Okay. Snowy. I think I think I jinxed myself with all the snowmen on this week's bread. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. I'm glad I bought another package of baby wipes when I went shopping the other day because Actually, it was last week, wasn't it? It's already been a week. I went last week Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday, I don't remember. Wednesday. Yep. that away. There was something I wanted to start adding to my morning videos. I should have written it down because I don't remember what it is. Okay, I do need to check off that I cleaned the family room yesterday. Okay. Okay. 
I don't remember what it was. Okay, let's see. Today, today's room to be cleaned is the bedroom. Okay, I got to make my morning video, my tea time video. I'm going to color. I got to color all day. I'm going to listen to the book Bears Behaving Badly by Mary Janice Davidson. I went to listen to A Wolf After My Own Heart by Mary Janice Davidson, but I realized that was book number two, so I looked and I do have book number one. So I'm reading, I'm listening to book number one. And then I want to watch tonight DP Penstash playlist. That's a maybe. That depends on... If I have the boys or not to babysit. Um, General Hospital should be on today. Let's do wisdom quotes. And it looked like we only had one for today. Sometimes I get two wisdom quotes. So let's go in and look. Yeah, there's only one. If only we'd stop trying to be happy, we could have a pretty good time. <laughs> By Edith Wharton. If only we'd stop trying to be happy. We could have a pretty good time. Edith Wharton. Okay, so there is that. In today's word of the day, <clears throat> is body blow. Body blow, which is a noun. It's a severe setback or disappointment. Okay, so there is that. Also, I will be setting up my Coco Daisy for March this weekend, so I will be making a video for that. Yep. So I had my live stream yesterday. Uh, I think another thing that I wanted to start doing is to read the comments from the video the day before. So let me go in and do that. And first I need to check to see who's, um, who has their schedule up for today. Okay, three o'clock. I have that down. Okay, so I think that's what I wanted to start doing.
so yesterday's video I have a few comments Margaret Smith says thank you for sharing Shalene you are very welcome Margaret says that in every video and I appreciate it so much and you are always welcome Sherry Roberts says thank you stay safe be happy I am staying safe Yesterday, I was a little, I wasn't miserable, I was just in a funky mood. Anxiety Art Adventure says, I think adding books to the newsletter and in your description is a good idea. Romance, yuck. <laughs> yes, I know, she does not like romance. Deborah Kayser says, I will also support you, may not stay, but I will be there. So, I do have a few people that like to read. And so, next Tuesday, instead of coloring in the live stream, we are going to be talking books. And I'm going to use StreamYard instead of OBS. <clears throat> I've never set it up with StreamYard. So, I am not sure... When I use OBS, I have to go in, I go into YouTube Studio, or no, is it, yeah, I go into a live dashboard and I set up the schedule. So I'm not sure with StreamYard if I still have to do that. I am learning I thought I saw some of these. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I'm not sure if if I have to set it up that way or I just set it up with StreamYard. So, I'm thinking I may do a test run today doing... Um, the tea time. So tea time may be live. It's not going to be an hour or two hours. It's just going to be, you know, what my normal tea time video is. But I think I'm going to try that and set it up with StreamYard to see what happens or if I have to set it up through YouTube first, like I do for OBS. So I'm I've got to learn <laughs> the Streamyard. So that Tuesday I I will be all ready. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to set it up for what time is it right now? 7:50. Maybe for 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll give me time to get a shower in. Sorry, my nose is all funky this morning, as usual. Today is a coloring day. I have to color three pictures out of the Whimsy Girls because I forgot. I don't know how I forgot. I didn't write it down in my planner for some reason. I didn't have any color lines written in. I never got them written in. So, I did that and I need to color those. So yesterday morning I did my video and I was in a good mood and then I don't know negative people just kind of brought me down and people are bitching about the snow and they want summer and yet they're the ones that yell at me if I bitch about the heat and humidity. So. I um I can understand those of you in Texas 
or any place else that's not used to the snow and the ice, totally understandable. Totally get why you're complaining. And those of you down south that get the ice or the snow and not used to it or the cold, I can totally understand where you're coming from. Because you're not used to it. I just don't like the ones complaining about it that live here and are ready for summer. When this is winter, it is still winter until the end of March. But yeah, if I complain in the summer about the heat and humidity, I get picked on. So... Yeah, those are the kind of people that I'm bitching about. <laughs> so some of them set me off yesterday. And um, I don't know. I just have a couple people that are like, they think they know it all. And they offer advice that they don't even know what the hell they're talking about. No. Yeah, so a lot of negativity out there yesterday, and it just kind of, and then General Hospital, I love General Hospital, I've been watching it since the 80s, I did take a break for several years in the 90s and early 2000s, I had to take a break, um, and then I picked it back up. I get tired of how they just drag out some storylines and some characters. So right now, my gripe is the Nell situation. So if you are a general hospital person, okay, Nell is dead. Leave her be. No one liked her. She's a horrible, rotten person. We already know that. But to have her as Nina's daughter and then having Nina act in the way she is when Nina knew what went on and how that woman treated Carly had her put in jail for something she didn't do had her put in a institution because of it just pisses me off to no end we are done with that character she died. Let's move on to something else. And you get rid of Lulu. Bring back Dante. And you're not and you wrote Lulu off as a character on General Hospital that um they were getting rid of some of the characters and her character ran its course. Bullshit. Then don't bring Dante back. It's just bullshit. So we go and have Lulu sent away. That's a main character. But you bring back Jackie Templeton, who hasn't been on since the 80s. Really? Wow. You guys are reaching. And let's get rid of Cyrus. Really? I think that he has run his course. Let's hurry up. Have him killed off or incarcerated. Because I had, there are some days where that show will just make me so angry. Then I was cross-stitching and made a mistake because there's two symbols that look so much alike. And I don't understand this with diamond painting or cross-stitching. And I did mention this in my live stream last night. So I am repeating myself if you were in the live stream. There are millions of symbols, letters, and numbers. That there is no reason to have symbols in a chart or on a diamond painting to look similar. Especially when the chart I'm working out of for cross-stitching has maybe a dozen symbols. Really? Just... And that, did not somebody, did, 
this person that made the chart, did she not stitch it up herself to do a test run before she sent it out? I was a reviewer for charts for one company for a year or two. And she would send me the chart and then I would stitch it and let her know my thoughts and she would make changes. So if you have someone doing that, would they not have told her? Look at these two symbols are very similar. The only way I can tell them apart is if I put the chart right up to my face. So yeah, that that didn't help my mood yesterday. <laughs> oh, today I'm coloring. I just don't get it when you have how many letters in an alphabet. You can do lowercase and uppercase. Don't do the ones that look alike. This one doesn't have any letters, any number, numbers, just symbols, but a couple of them are so similar, I, I don't understand it all. I don't think it's necessary. They could have even done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or A, B, C, D, but nope, nope. And don't do a capital B in the, let, in the number eight, because sometimes they're drawn or printed up and they're not always really clear and they look alike. Just, just my thoughts. So, yep, there's things like that. Just makes no sense. So that's how my day was yesterday. So I'm hoping today is even better. <laughs> or is better, I mean. I know I'll probably get mad about General Hospital again. I, I've gotten to the point where do I want to keep watching it? Do I want to break? But then something will happen that I've missed. I'm like, well, what happened with that storyline? And, you know, I and that did happen. I think I took like a five to ten year break. And I really didn't miss anything except for a death. And I probably could just watch it every Friday and still know what's going on. I know. I'm trying to have more positivity in my life. <clears throat> I have to message Dylan later, too, to see if I have to babysit. I uh, can't remember what else I wanted to start doing in the morning videos. I knew I should have wrote it down, written it down. I do talk about the books. So, Bears Behaving Badly is a shapeshifter. And it talks about bears, werewolves, and werefoxes. I don't know if they're werewolves or just wolves, but I know they talked about foxes, wolves, and bears. I like the shapeshifters. I'm only like 25% into the book. So I was enjoying listening to that yesterday. Sometimes books will put me in a bad mood too. 
spezzy psychological thrillers. Since I'm up early, I want to be able to write a couple book reviews today and get them up. I need to write up my TBR for March. I like to do a draft of the TBR and play around with it before I put it in my planner because sometimes like today or yesterday when I went to read the one book I didn't realize it I needed to read the first book so I need to start doing that just paying attention I'm hungry. I woke up early. I had a cramp in my one leg and I was mad at my husband in my dream <laughs> for something that happened like 20, 25 years ago. <laughs> I'm like, the hell was that about? At least I wasn't mad at him when he woke up. <clears throat> okay, live streams today. Like I said, I might throw in one for me this morning because there's nobody on in the morning. I know Michelle is, but she she's on at different times. Okay, so Friday, Eastern Standard Time. 9 a.m. I have color in with Vicky down. I don't know if she does it every Friday. 1.30 is Billy's Crafting Lounge. 3 o'clock is Shell Artie. 5 o'clock is Nana of Seven Crafts. 8 o'clock is The Bookish Knitter. Also Mickey Sunshine Creates. 9 o'clock is Emily Illustrator. Also DP Addiction Adventures. 10 o'clock is Crafting with Mrs. Coffee. And I don't think Crafts with Crashly and Drea do Friday night fun time anymore. I'm not sure. But that's who's on today. I broke my nail. It's cracked right down in here. <laughs> so I get my nails done Wednesday, and I don't know if it's going to make it till then. I might have to wear a Band-Aid. That's the live streams today. I got nothing else. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll. I don't know if I'm going to. I probably color in here. So, I'm going to have to pick up this book. I'm going to put this in back ways, backwards. So, I know that's what I need next. And hang this up. And then I'm going to color in here. So you all have a great day. And I'm going to set up StreamYard. See if I have to do it on just StreamYard or how I do that. And I will talk to you all later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.